what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And what is going on with these 735, Soul 735? These new pictures are absolutely amazing. All sorts of anomalies on them. All sorts of blurring and junk back in these pictures too, which is pretty odd because just a couple saws ago, the pictures were crystal clear. Um, a couple people even noticed that in my last video, one of my last couple videos I did absolutely crystal clear and then when you get into this one again you see the uh good old i call them blinds marks where they're vertical lines wherever there's something interesting they put these vertical lines and you can really see them when you come in close um but either way this thing's pretty amazing here this is the one i want to definitely show you guys the main anomaly is just sitting out here if this doesn't look like something that's crashed on the planet at one point i don't know what would um something that doesn't look it's absolutely as unnatural as it gets look at it there's so much symmetry here and when you cut it down the middle which has already been done here by whatever this is um, you can see the outline it's almost like a tear shot uh, teardrop shape up here looks like a piece of a, a statue it almost looks like a, a skull or something and what I've done here is uh, I've already done some enhancements to it basically I will show you what I'll show you what I've done we'll do it again here in a second might as well Real, real quickly, because there's other stuff on here, but this is the one I just want to show you real fast, because this is pretty amazing. Um, delete, no, duplicate layer. All right, so what I had already done here, I'll show you again, was this. And basically all that was was I did the auto color, which I think puts it more into our own terms. I'll back out and show you guys what the auto color does. That's pretty cool. That definitely looks like a king's face or something like that. But when I look at this, I totally... This does not look like Mother Nature or Mother Mars made this. This looks like some sort of old technology or old something that was taken out. Um, and you see the stuff just strewn about, things that just do not look like, uh, I mean, just standard old rocks laying around on Mars. Um, if I were to see this stuff, and the rover just blowing by this stuff, I tell you what, um, not sticking around, this, <laughs> not sticking around long, I can tell you that much. And as you go through, you're going to see it everywhere, stuff that looks like it's got bevels in it. Um, it's ornate. Let me look how ornate some of this stuff is here. And this is just with a, uh, let me show you. That's just with a, uh, the auto color. I didn't do anything to the depth of it or you know anything along those lines. Look at this stuff here in the front. Look at the little circles and stuff that are put into this one. It looks like it's, uh, that's teardrop shaped as well too. And you can see it. It's not just sharpening it up. You see it even when, you know, in the NASA picture that comes. Just too cool guys this whole i've got probably like six of these pictures that have been sent to me by everybody uh john sent me this one a couple of people sent me uh let's see let's see john um shells all sorts of people have been sending me this one um i haven't got anything from dr d in a while but all right guys so let me show you also on here too there's this amazing piece but see that around there the little the little circles perfectly around that thing and everywhere you look there's perfect 90 degree angles stuff that looks like it's been turned and here let me show you the one down here at the bottom look at this right here here let me put this up a little bit see that look at that it looks like it's got that looks like a boot shape to it or something like that but see how it's it's perfectly up and over and it's all the way through, all the way from the top to the part that it gets buried we see it's in the same same faction and then uh, like I said all I did there was do mess with the contrast a little bit here you've got this piece right here it looks like a big it definitely looks like it was cut carved out of something and once again on this back side you've got what look to be blur marks and they're perfect squares and it goes all the way up through here you can see it um, even because even when you sharpen it they come out even more you've got one two three four five six seven I hope you guys can see that uh, make sure you're in 1080 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of them right there they just look like simple blur marks and they're so good on there you can't even like oh, this is a deep blur tool you can't get back below them um, you can certainly sharpen up some of this other stuff but let's see look at this piece here has this there's something coming out hanging up over top of it you can tell that this stuff was uh, either some sort of machinery or, or to me it looks up oh, I'm hitting the wrong one no wonder why Here's the blur tool I was using on it. Let me go back to it. I was trying to get that stuff off of there, but let's see. Go backwards. Step backwards a little bit here. I mean, look how. Then we just step forward. 
look at the blur on it, but look behind it. It's just amazing. This stuff that's sitting in here is, uh, it's, it's, I don't even know what to say it is. It, it's just cool. It, especially the blur annoys me because that's where it's like, okay, well, you know, a lot of it's not. But, and look at the overall shape of it when you pull out. Uh, back over here, here's a little sphere that's on a perfect circle right here. It looks like it's just like a little... I mean, we're talking, this stuff is right by the rover, so this is not that far off. A lot of this stuff should be crystal clear. Um, but here was the interesting, couple interesting things down here right below the rover where it's taking pictures. This was taken from the mass cam, so I was just at the uh, Air and Space Museum. I got to stand up next to the model of it, and I was pretty badass because it, you could really see how big this thing is. And uh, the pictures it's taken, it, it, it gives me more of a, a scale because NASA never gives you a scale. It's like very rare that you get a scale of things. I mean, even this rock right in front of us just has a awkward shape. To even like, let's look here. Look where it comes up around here. It just looks carved to me. Everything seems to have bevels in it. You seem to be scooped out of there. And then right here, check this piece out. This looks to be just sitting here, war torn. Whatever the hell happened here. Um, electrical thing whatever happened i know a lot of people have their own uh, arguments they they think as long as i think we can all just imagine that something happened here on this planet and you can see it here look how there's carvings and stuff on this and it just comes up to perfect angles as it goes down into it this one i thought was cool because you can see how it comes carving it's it's done on the curve and here on the front has like a face piece to it um, and it's got things can be put up to the other one because you can really see it really well it's got carvings in it where it comes in those circles. It's, it's beautiful. It could be anywhere. Uh, and this is where I don't buy. This. Sometimes people say, oh, well, that, that's not blurring. Look right here. Whatever this is, this is being blurred. And they say, well, that just happens because, we're, you know, it's on the back side. Well, look, there's no blur mark on this thing right here, even though it is rather interesting for just supposed to be a rock. Uh, there's a little blur mark right here. Um, but there's one, two two ones right next to each other and it's whatever it is there's something purplish looking behind it and it's circled out you know so a lot of circle stuff I think once again more of these uh, just shapes I can just sit here and look at it look, look at this thing here it's got a uh, I mean that looks like a circle half circle with it, a little bit more than a half circle and it looks like a platform for whatever this is that's pretty awesome actually let me see something see what it looks like just from there I mean it it's in the pictures like I said it's not what I'm doing to it they're sitting there believe me it's like I said I brought it back to how it looked originally you can see this stuff is sitting there all we're doing is tweaking it a little bit um, this stuff is just buried I mean I could probably just set back you could just set back and look at this stuff and see so much more so comment below and tell me the stuff I'm missing and there's one one other this thing right here that looked like a tool to me well, check this out it comes around, over, and it's like an S, perfect S, a perfect Z. If you flipped it over, it'd be an S, depending on how you're looking at it. And it's there even in that, so it's not just being hidden. And then this little piece up here has got one, two, three perfect balls in it, one perfect sphere there. I mean, tell me that this stuff isn't ornate, you know, and wasn't put here. I mean, look, it comes off here to the edge. There's a circle there. This looks like art to me. Um, and one of the best things, art for, I mean, like we said, because even when you drop down to nothing, that's in the picture, you know, that's that's there, just like this piece is right here. Now, that's either some sort of snake that's alive moving on the surface, or that's something, look, there's another piece look to it down there, kind of the same thing. But that's not an image artifact, that's, uh, that's definitely something going on. Um, whatever it is, here's another long snake thing, you know. I, Whatever's going on on Mars, they've got a lot of tubing, <laughs> and that would be maybe there's stuff. Maybe everything is underground. A lot of people swear that there's little baby aliens or baby well, they would aliens to us, little baby Martians just you know living there underground. Look at this stuff more and more. That tell me that's not awesome. Like this whole soul, like I said, this whole day the rover took these pictures is awesome. It's like this. There's stuff everywhere. I mean, look at this little thing. It almost looks like a. A half of a skull, two big eye dents in it, but it looks more like machinery to me, not even a skull. And it looks like it's among machinery, stuff that blew up. And we're finally getting closer to the Mount Sharp end. And when I see stuff like this, I'm absolutely convinced by people who say that Mount Sharp or, you know, this whole Gale Crater used to be a military base or used to be some sort of base for something at some point in time. Um, and whether there's still stuff there or not, I have not been convinced yet, but I'm definitely not on, you know, not. 
I haven't convinced myself otherwise, just because there's so much I've seen where, you know, things do look like they're, even here on Earth, a little small baby, you know, oh, look at anything. We've got things from little to huge here, just regular old animals here, so... Who knows what size will grow. Check this thing out here. I think you guys, if you're looking at it like I am, this piece comes out. It's almost like metal. It comes out and hangs over. You can see the shadow under it. Clear as can be. So let's check this out here. Everybody just jump for their phone. All right. More and more of this stuff. Look at the, I mean, look at the holes in this. One, two, three. Just tell me this doesn't look manufactured. And let me push it back over to this. And you can see them. So I'm not adding them. One, two, three, four. And I, you know what? I didn't show you guys the picture. Here's the picture right here that it comes from. We're going to get back to this piece right here. Not here. Right now we're going to do it. So I'm just kind of walking my way back to it, showing you guys what else is here. Because this picture, go download the picture. It's in the description. I always put the pictures. Even, like I said, with it not cleaned up the way I've got it, you're going to have fun looking at it. You can, anybody can do the simple stuff with even the 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 littlest of photo uh, enhancing thing probably have something on your computer already that allow you to manipulate a little bit like this I mean look at this stuff this is just too cool and you wonder where you see the blur that uh, that doesn't look just random or you, you know something maybe on the camera which I don't believe because uh, wherever it is it's got it's usually on some interesting stuff and right here look at this you've got this piece is absolutely interesting as could be. It goes up, perfect triangle. And that's still there. That's like that under it. I'm not adding it. Look at this piece. You can sit here all day and find stuff on this picture. Look at that. Comes up like that and down and over. Almost looks like an instrument or something of some sort. But now, nah, because it's connected here to this piece as well. What is going on on Mars, ladies and gentlemen? Please comment below and let me know what you think is going on. All right. More little blur right there. It's just interesting how it just shows up. And like I said, the, the rationale behind this stuff, this is just too cool right here. Here's the piece. I mean, look at this. This is just here. I'm going to show you what it looks like from NASA. That's just a little bit of the color added. And then there it is. That's all I've done is sharpen it up a nice little bit with a smart sharpen. And you can see down here there's pieces that looks like it's falling off. But this is all the same color to an extent. And then look at this. This thing looks like it's a huge face or something in the middle of it. Two big guys. Looks carved with something on top of it. But here, this is the cool part about it. This is just as perfect as can be. A teardrop shape. And it's got wires or something connected to it. Whatever in the world this is. And you can see it fairly well, even when you pull that off. It's got another piece here that looks to be connected to it. All up here. It goes up around here. And then just stuff laying around. Also at the top of this one, I think there's some, some interesting things. Um, I mean, just here, look at these parts. These don't look like just random rocks. We've been, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, or you've been watching most of them, we've seen a lot of the Martian surface now, just from where we've been, just because we look at all the different rovers that have been up there, even back to Viking and stuff on my channel. But uh, I haven't seen it cluttered like this in a while, and I never see, look at how bad the camera brings back stuff here. I mean, look at the, it just looks very bad <laughs> compared to what we're used to. Um, especially, I thought, like I said, I saw the last couple of saws, I thought we were getting a little better. I was like, ooh, wow, they sent us something back. And uh, it seems like whenever they take the long shots, which I understand the photography is not going to be as good anyway, and I can only complain if we're taking pictures on a whole other planet. But to me, this uh, this right here is evidence of something. This didn't come down with our rover. Um, this was there. Something has been withering away at this for a long time. Either that or it's still active. Who knows? So... All right, guys, you can find the link below. Go to my website, whatsupinthesky.com. We have also, we have new people on there every day putting their videos on. I keep, anybody who does these videos, I always ask them, hey, you want to check it out? If they're good, I like them. Um, you know, I just give them the ability to upload them. So more of this stuff here. You're going to find an awful lot of stuff on this picture. I recommend going and getting it. Look at this square-looking patch here. It's got a couple of blur marks in. Just kind of tear it up a little bit, but... This is an interesting to one and a half for your collection. This piece over here does look like it's part of this as well. I didn't uh, scroll all the way over and look. And I say that because look up here, you can kind of see the little hoses or wires or cutting, whatever it is. Um, I don't, 
this one's just pretty cool. So, all right, guys, the space news is coming up next. Check out the website, whatsupinthesky.com. Much love to you. Peace.